Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a second look at Cryo Utilities. It's a hugely popular project to improve gaming performance on the Steam Deck. Today I tested to see what impact it has on Linux desktop if you enable all the options that is recommended. It is really easy to install. You can grab the installer from their GitHub page. For some reason the installer did not work for me, but there's always another way to do things. Once installed, you should see the new icons on your desktop to run, update and remove Cryo Utilities. The current bug is that it's not scaling correctly, but we can fix it with a quick workaround. Once that is done, you should be able to run it. First game I tested was Red Dead Redemption 2, as it was mentioned that it might decrease performance. Sometimes look the best on Cryo Utilities on, with just THP and stock being slightly higher. Both THP only and Cryo on had almost 2% uplift from stock with Cryo having a slightly better 1% low than just THP. I also tested Returnal just because it had such a great benchmark tool. Here Cryo on looked the most stable in terms of FPS and frame times over the other two. I also saw over 2% uplift with once again a marginal 1% low uplift over stock and just regular THP. As we saw in the previous video, these tweaks and the potential impact on gaming performance is a very complex subject and it greatly depends on the game being tested. So far I have tested Cyberpunk, Hogwarts Legacy, Overwatch 2, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Returnal and they all showed a performance increase of 2-6%, to marginally improved 1% lows. I would really like to hear the results other people are getting using these tweaks, but from what I can see on the Steam Deck forums, Cryoutils has gotten an overwhelmingly positive response. Well, that's it for today. As always, take care and cheers.